How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel today. So today we're going to continue reacting to season four of My Hero Academia. So in the last episode, we saw a big face off between Sugar Rocket and Overhaul. Shit went down, you know, bodies were dropped, shall we say, you know, and, and it looks like there is going to be some sort of power struggle over there. But we also saw Deku, you know, he's now go over to, is it Sir Night Eye or something like that? He's now essentially going to go and do his work studies at the same place that Mirio is doing it. Uh, and this Sir Night Eye actually used to be the sidekick or, you know, the, the, the partner of my, of, uh, of All Might back in the day. So this is going to be interesting to see how it's going to go. Apparently this dude is like super, super intense and intimidating so it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens with these work studies now that you know this is for people that have their provisional licenses they are allowed to go forward and actually you know you know throw down and legally now so i'm looking forward to seeing what is going to happen next just before we get into today's episode if you guys would like to see early access double episode versions of all the videos on my channel my patreon is live and down in the description below we also have early access openings and endings videos discord server roles exclusive series and a bunch more stuff if you want to check that out the link is down below but with that said let's get straight into this so hit that like button hit that subscribe button and let's get it <laughs> He idolizes him just as much as Deku, maybe. Deku may have met his match when it comes to being uh, an All Might fan, but it's cool to see that regardless of whatever went on between them two, he's still a massive fan of All Might and still obviously highly regards him and, uh, and follows him closely. <laughs> Man, that's that's mad. <laughs> well, that is a very specific imitation that he obviously does, but <laughs> I, I love that he's gone that deep. Yeah, I guess when you think about it, it is actually a really good first impression because whether or not you made him laugh, you showed the enthusiasm and uh, well, the same amount of enthusiasm that you yourself show towards All Might and how intricately you look into things. So your attention to detail is there. I yeah, I, I mean, it, it could have gone a lot worse. He missed. Essentially, what do I get out of this? You know, like th th this is essentially just a favor to you. Like, what, what, what? You know, what? What can you do for me, bro? Is essentially what he's saying here. Okay. Oh damn. Damn, that's not a lot of time. Damn, that's kind of intense when you think about it. It's just kind of like, okay, you've got three minutes. You can have no time to prepare. You've got to try and get this stamp off me, and then you can stamp it yourself. But you know nothing really about me. Well, I was saying that I think Deku will probably know something. There's no way that he probably wouldn't have done a bit of research. So I'm assuming maybe that, but he doesn't really know what he's going to do. So this is, this is going to be interesting to see what is going to happen here. Damn, are they going to do it inside this office? Oh, ho, 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 I'm ready for this. Yeah, what is his quirk? Oh, man, he is quick at reading all of this shit. He can read things very, very well. What is his quirk, though? Is it foresight? Yeah. 
Yeah, you need more than just ability, don't you? Oh shit, that's deep. Well, that's that's pretty mad to say, but you know what? Thinking, I don't know whether he's just saying that to kind of tap into Deku's pride and whatnot. Um, but there is, uh, you know, uh, fair grounds to suggest that he that that Miro might have been a better person to inherit. Um, you know, one for all's quirk, but you know, I. He, I really don't know how Deku gets out of this. I suppose he has to kind of just... You you can't even act out in a way that you're not expecting yourself because you know the move, so I, I don't know what he does. Oh damn, straight to the point. I like this guy though, he's straight talking. Degraded Grand Trainers, man, he's just putting him down. Oh, will he get it? No. Oh. This is more not even just like a physical test for him. This is like a real mental thing, you know. It's making him think again about things that he probably hadn't considered before. About, you know, is he the right person to carry the burden of being the next All Might, the next number one, you know. Is he, you know, worthy of it? Is, is he prepared? You know, just just little things that he probably wouldn't have thought about before him now that he's having to consider. And even after this, maybe this is a conversation he'll have to have with All Might, you know, like, why did you pick me and not Mirio? Oh, interesting. Oh, so this was just like a a, a, a a figurative test for him then. Oh, so this I mean, let's be honest, that is a very, very fair motivation for Naitai to say, you know, like, I'll take you one because I honestly don't think that he's the right person to have this ability. I will show you who is. But also, what's funny about that is, you know, he said, you got three minutes to, to take this from my hand, but he ended up getting Deku to hand it over to him, you know, by, by demonstrating uh, an awareness and a consideration, even though he was obviously desperate to, to, to be you know taken on of the work studies there so i i don't know how this is gonna like how the balance of um the relationship is gonna be between all of them now especially now that deku knows that mirio is you know being looked at in this way or, or was considered that way like is their relationship going to be different and like as it was beforehand you know or is that always going to be there ミリオとミドリアの
Is that overhaul? Oh shit. It is. Well, there you have it. That was an interesting episode because it, even though it literally the whole episode was just revolving around Deku, you know, getting the seal of approval uh, to, to have his work studies that done there, we had some important moments in terms of like questions asked, you know, things that Deku's going to have to consider now. And also we're going up and setting up essentially how I think that this overhaul situation is going to cross over onto, you know, our radar yes we see you know some of the backroom stuff going on with the villains and uh you know the league of villains and stuff like that but now the fact that there's clearly some kind of interrogation not interrogation work but some investigative work being done into them and deku being a part of that it is going to be interesting to see because also you got to remember like shigaraki just fucking straight up that does not like deku anyway so uh, this this is all very interesting stuff now i'm curious if you were all my who would you have chosen for your successor if you had either a choice of deku or Mira? who would you have picked let me know down in the comments below but with that said that's absolutely everything for this video so guys if you have enjoyed it please do leave a thumbs up down below you guys have been absolutely smashing it and the support means the world to me but until next time i'll see you soon peace